So in order to do this, we're going to want to find all of these um, different probabilities separately, and then we're going to be multiplying them together. So let's start with the red on the spinner. The red on the spinner would be 1, 2, 3, and I, I usually just like to write it out and then put the fractions right underneath it uh, so you understand which goes where and make sure you've covered everything. So with the red, looks like we've got 3 red uh, out of a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's going to be a 3 eighths chance of getting a red. Now, in a totally separate event, we're going to figure out what is the probability of green. So that, again, I think is also 3 out of 8, because there's 3 green out of 8 spaces. And to get the tails on a coin, that would be a 50-50 chance, so that would be 1 half. So all we need to do to figure out what is the probability of all three of these things happening, one after the next, after the next, we just need to multiply straight across. So 3 times 3 times 1 is 9, uh, and 8 times 8 is 64, 64 times 2 is 128. Now we can reduce that down, that would be um, an option, uh, and we could also change this to a percentage, which everybody should be uh, familiar with by now, just by doing 9 divided by 28. So I'm just going to do that real quick. And remember, we're just going to take the first uh, couple of numbers here. If we do 9 divided by 128, looks like we get 0 0.07. So 0 0.07 uh, is 7%. So that means that if we spin this wheel once, spin it a second time, and then flip a coin, we're going to have a 7% chance of getting red, then green, then tails. Okay. So again, all I did was separate these out, list them out, and multiply them. Now let's try a different one here. Uh, let's say what is the probability of, and let, let's throw let's throw some dice in here. Let's say the probability of getting um, an even number on the dice, and then let's say getting purple on the wheel, and then let's say getting um, tails on a coin and let's say we go back to the wheel and we want to get a red okay so we've got four different things that we're gonna do one after the next after the next after the next to see what the probability would be so let's start off even number on a dice okay well on a dice there's six numbers two four six okay that's three even numbers out of six numbers so that's three six times purple Looks like purple is only two of them. Looks like that's two out of eight. Tails on a coin would be one out of two because you have two choices and tails is one of them. And then the last one is red on the wheel here. And red on a wheel here we already figured out was three out of eight. So now we just need to multiply straight across. Three times two is six times one is still six. Six times three is 18. And then if we multiply the bottom, uh, let's see, I know 8 times 8 is 64, um, 64 times 2 is 128, and I'm going to have to do uh, 128 times 6, is going to be uh, 768. So we have an 18 out of 768 chance uh, of having all of these things happen in a row. Now let's figure out what percent that is here quick. Um, if we do 18 out of 768, we're going to get 0 0.02, which is a 2% chance. So 0 0.02, we just need those first two numbers, is going to be a 2% chance of all of these things happening. Now with our Next example here, we're going to do um, different kinds of, we'll go, let's see, how about Skittles here, okay? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14 different Skittles here. And this is going to be the point where I'm going to show you, um, if all these Skittles are in a bag, the difference between putting the Skittle back and just keeping it and eating it. And I'll kind of show you what that means here. So first of all, Let's figure out, let's just do a simple one here. A probability of it in the bag drawing out a green Skittle followed by, how about followed by a blue Skittle and we are going to put it back. 
Okay, we're going to put it back after we've drawn it. So I mean, when we take out the green, we're going to put it back. Um, so the green, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 out of 14. And the blue um, is going to be 1, 2 out of 14. Now let me kind of show you how this works here. I originally, I drew a green out, okay? So that would be gone. But I said that I'm going to put it back in the bag, so I'm still at 14 total here. Okay. So now if I do my multiplication, uh, the top number is 12. The bottom number is whatever 14 times 14 is here. Or 14 squared would be 14 times 14. That is 196. Now, something that, they'll, that you'll probably have to do eventually is reduce these down. We're not going to worry about that now because... Uh, it's something that you should know how to do anyways, but we should be able to change this to a percentage. And if I do 12 out of 196, I'm going to get 0 .06, which is actually 6%. Now, let me show you the difference here between what I was talking about before. Let's say we do the same problem, probability of a green, followed by a blue, but we are going to eat the Skittle and not put it back and how this would look. Okay, So the probability of the green is still going to be the same. We still have a 6 out of 14 chance. But now if we say we're going to eat the Skittle, that means that I didn't put it back in the bag. So now look what we have left for the next time we pull one out. We've only got 13 Skittles left here. So now when I come down to the blue, my chances for the blue will be 2 out of, but there's not 14 Skittles anymore because I ate that other Skittle. So there's actually only 13 Skittles. So now if I do this, it's going to be pretty close to what we had before, but not quite the same. The top number is still going to be 12, but the bottom number is going to be whatever 14 times 13 is, which I think would be 1 less 14, which should be 182. Okay. So 12 out of 182 is our probability of getting pulling out a green, eating it, and then pulling out a blue. Uh, and then if we find the percentage for that, we could reduce it down, but I'll let you do that on your own because um, everybody should know how to do that by now. If we do this, we come up with still 6%, but it's a little bit higher. It's almost 7% because we have a 5 in that next spot here. So I'm going to go ahead and round that up to actually 7%. So the difference between these questions is, uh, I mean, they're putting it back uh, or I'm not putting it back in this case. You always have to read it over to figure out what you're actually doing here. Now, we're going to do one more example uh, with these same situations here so you understand what I'm talking about. And it's going to be even a little bit more different than before uh, because we're going to be drawing two of the same color back to back here. So if we have our original array of Skittles here, and this time I want to draw, how about a red, and then I want to draw another red. I, I really like red Skittles. I want to know my chances of getting two reds in a row. Uh, and in this case, we are going to put it back after I draw it. Okay. So my chances of getting a red Skittle um, are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out of 14. And my chances of getting a red Skittle, if I took the one out, but then I put it back, it's still out of 14. And it's going to be 5 out of 14. So if I do this, that would be 25 out of, I believe we already did 14 times 14, was 196. And then I could find the percentage of that, which would just be 25 out of, divided by 196. Uh, that's about... It's 12%. We got that 7 there, so we may just round that up to 13% would probably be a good idea. So we got 13%. Now, we're going to do the same problem. The probability of the red Skittle and the red Skittle, two red Skittles in a row, but this time I'm going to eat the first one, meaning I'm not going to put it back. So my chances of getting that red Skittle are 5 out of 14. Okay but I'm going to eat that first Skittle that I drew out of there. So that means that i got to take out one of the red ones. 
Now, here's where it's a little bit interesting. Now, what do I have left for a probability of red? Well, I no longer have five Skittles left. I've only got four. So my top number is going to be four because I only have four red Skittles to choose from. And now my bottom number is going to be, I believe, 13 because I took one away, so my total is different as well. Now if I multiply these together, my chances of getting a red one, eating it, and then getting another red one become 20 in, this was 182. So now if I find that as a percentage, that's just going to be 20 out of 182 which is going to be 10%. There's a 9 there, so we'd probably round that up to even 11%. Just a little bit different chance.